Today I'll just be doing a quick video showing you a few settings you can tweak on your Google account to maximize your privacy. So as you may know, Google collects data on its users and sells it to the highest bidder. And they also use this data to personalize your experience to show you more relevant ads. Now, in a perfect world, we could just simply not use Google at all, but we don't live in a perfect world. And unfortunately, in today's digital age, Google is a necessary evil. However, there are some steps you can take to minimize their data collection, and that's what I'll be showing you in this video. All right, so now, to start with, you're gonna open up your web browser and go to myaccount.google.com, and then it will prompt you to sign into your Google account if you aren't already. But what we're gonna do is go to the Data and Privacy tab, And then first thing we're gonna do is scroll down to our history settings and make sure that all of these are paused. So what you do is you just click on one, say web and app activity, and then that will allow you to turn it off from here. Make sure you do that so that way it's not saving your web and app activity in your Google account because this is one major way that they collect data on you and also how they personalize your experiences for you in Google products. Same with YouTube history and especially timeline for Google Maps because what timeline does is it'll essentially record the places you've been. It's not really something you want out there. So make sure you pause that too. Now, only caveat with pausing the YouTube history is that YouTube actually recently made a change so that if you turn off your watch history, then it will not show you recommendations on the home page. But of course, you still get access to search and you still have your subscriptions. And to be fair, you do still get recommendations on the watch page, just not on the home page. But let's be honest, was that really a useful feature anyway? Or is it just a way for YouTube to keep you on the platform for longer so you watch more ads? Okay, so now we come down to personalized ads. Make sure you turn this off as well. Now you'll still see the same amount of ads across Google products. They may just be less relevant to you too because now they're no longer based on data collected from you. But if I'm being honest, having less relevant ads might actually help you to save money if you think about it. So make sure to go to my ad center and make sure your personalized ads is off. And now coming back to my Google account, Search personalization, make sure that that's off too. Because that, that's another feature that relies on data collected from you. And now let's go over to my activity in the same place as the history settings. And this will give you a rundown of all the activity saved in your Google account. In my case, it's empty because I turned all of these off. But what you do once after turning all of these off is you're gonna go to delete here and then delete activity for all time. And then it should give you the option to delete all your activity. Now, it doesn't for me because I have no activity here, which is what you want to see. And now if you jump over to other activity, then you get a big long list of other places that you can audit for privacy. So I'd encourage you to go through this list and view the data stored in your Google account and then delete anything that you don't need in there and disable any settings that you don't need and especially the ones that are collecting data on you. And now if we come back to myaccount.google.com, I'd also encourage you to take the privacy checkup, which will also allow you to audit your privacy settings. And while you're at it, you might as well also go to the security tab and take the security checkup, which is another important thing to protect your Google account or really any online account. Now, Google will allow you to download an archive of all the data in your Google account. If you go to takeout.google.com, and then what you do is you just select all of these and then follow the on-screen prompts to create an archive of your data. Now, it will take 
a couple hours to produce. In my experience, it comes in on the same day, but just know that it's not an instantaneous thing. But once you have that, that'll allow you to go through all the data in your Google account and figure out what data you don't need there and then delete that from your Google account because the less data Google has on you, the better. And that's it for this video. Be sure to give it a like if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and see you next time.